Chile has the third longest land border. The population of Chile is around 16 million. Capital is Santiago. Some cities are San Bernardo, Puerto Alto. Soccer is Chile's national sport. Their love of soccer is developed in their early years. Chile is the second largest producer of salmon in the world. Chile's fruit growing season is opposite of the U.S. There are some things they grow as wheat, corn, grapes, and beans. Easter Island is an important aspect in Chilean culture because it was annexed by Chile in 1888 and is considered a special territory of Chile. Its capital is Hungaroa. The people speak Spanish. Their currency is a peso. Shown here is a map showing the relative location of Easter Island to Chile. As you can see, it is west of Chile and is quite a ways off. Easter Island got its name when Dutch explorer Jacob Roggeveen uh, explored it on Easter Day in 1722. Um, there are historical statues found on Easter Island called Moai. Uh, they're very famous and they have found about 887 total Moai statues. The Moai are believed to have been built to honor dead ancestors. Here are some residents of Easter Island. They are descended from the ancient Rapa Nui people, which were the first settlers of Easter Island. I'm going to talk about Easter Island. Easter Island is off the coast of Chile and is triangular shape. And each angle corresponds with a volcano called the Raucanu, which is pictured the Puki and the Mango Terravaca. There are heads called the Moai, which has a legend of two classes, the short and the long ears. The long ears made the short ears carve these Moai, and after years, the short ears rebelled and killed all the long ears. Some of them face the sea, and then others face inward toward the villages. Nobody knows what any of the Moai really mean, and nobody ever will. The Moi are monolithic human figures carved from rock on Easter Island between 1250 and 1500. They are 13 feet tall and are about 14 tons, and they represent high-ranking males from early Easter Island, and they mediate between people and gods, according to the early Easter Island people. The Moi were built out of volcanic ash in Rano Raraku. 887 Moi were created and only 288 are along the island coast, as this picture shows. The heads are three-fifths of their body size. Tierra del Fuego National Park located in southwestern Tierra del Fuego province on the borderline with Chile and Argentina. It was created in 1960. The Aborigines lived in huts in the La Patia Bay area, over 19,000 square miles. There's lots of tourism, lots of fishing goes on. Tourist attractions are horseback riding and sports fishing. The Beagle Conflict was a border dispute between Chile and Argentina over the possession of Picton, Canox, and Nueva Islands, and jurisdiction around those islands. These islands are just east of the Beagle Channel, which is one of the three waterways between the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean. The conflict began in 1904 when Argentina claimed islands that have always been ruled by Chile. The conflict was resolved and a treaty was signed in 1984. Here we go, great. Hawassos, they are Chilean countrymen and skilled horsemen, similar to a guacho or American cowboy. A female is called a Hawassa. They are generally living in Chile's central valleys and they wear straw hats and ponchos for clothing. A chimancho is a traditional decorative garment from central Chile, similar to a poncho. It is woven in silk thread and wool. Its entire counter is finished in ribbon edging. The difference between a poncho and chamanto is their reversibility, as both sides, one dark and one light, are fully finished. Traditionally, the dark side is worn at day and the light side at night. 
The national dance of Chile is the cueca. The traditional cueca dance imitates the courting ritual of a rooster and a hen. The man acts as the rooster and the woman as the hen. The men are known to act rather aggressively towards their female partners. The cueca is mainly danced in the countryside and rural areas of Chile, unless on national holidays, then the cueca can be seen in the city streets and the public restaurants. Clothing worn during the cueca is traditionally Chilean clothes. Men wear huesa hats, ponchos, and riding boots. Women typically wear flower dresses and aprons. Noticing these pictures that the two partners never touch, but they do remain in contact through facial expressions and movements. It is important to keep in mind that there are many different types of the cueca, and they all vary in specifics. Pedro was born in 1500 BC and died on 1225, 1553. He was the first royal governor of Chile and was sent to South America in 1534. There he served under Francisco Pizarro as a lieutenant, acting as a second in command. In 1540, he led an expedition of 150 men into Chile and defeated Native Americans. After he defeated them, he founded the city of Santiago in 1540. He left Chile for a few years after that and came back as governor in 1549. Then he extended Chile downward and kept extending until he was killed in battle. Diego de Almagro was also known as El Viejo, which means the elder. He was a Spanish conquistador. He was one of the people that discovered Chile. He was born in Almagro, Spain. He was famous for his role in the defeat of the Incan Empire in Peru and Ecuador. He was later a rival of Francisco Pizarro. He lost his left eye while battling with coastal natives. He rose from a very humble beginning in Spain to a position of wealth and power in the New World. Got captured in Cusco and was sentenced to be executed. There's a hotel that is named after Diego de Almagro in Chile. General Carlos Sabanez del Campo was a Chilean army officer and political figure. He served as dictator between 1927 and 1931 and as constitutional president from 1952 to 1958. He rose to power as the leader of a military force that opposed the current government at the time. After Congress finally had enough of the military's revolts, the Chilean constitution was redesigned. In the elections of 1925, Ibanez decided to run for presidency, but was pressured to withdraw from the running. So instead, Ibanez backed Emiliano Figueroa, who won the presidency. Ibanez then controlled weak Figueroa and pushed him into making decisions. Figueroa then resigned in 1927, and in the next election, Ibanez won because he secretly exiled his opponent. So then Carlos Ibanez gained complete control of Chile and became dictator. This is a picture of Salvador Allende. He was born in 1908 in Valparaiso, Chile. He went to a university, but then he got kicked out for political activities. He came back later and graduated in medicine in 1932. A year later, he helped found the Chilean Socialist Party. On his fourth attempt, Salvador Allende became president in 1970. In 1973, inflation spiraled out of control, and a guy named Augusto Pinochet attacked the presidential palace. Allende killed himself before they could attack. Salvador Allende was influential to Chilean culture and people because he had become Latin America's first democratically elected Marxist president. Augusto Pinochet was born in Chile on November 25, 1915. His full name is Augusto Jose Ramon Pinochet Ugarte, and his family has been in Chile for 200 years and eight generations. He went into the Chilean army at the age of 18 and rose ranks very quickly. In 1950, he attracted the attention of Senator Salvador Allende, and they became very close friends. Allende was wrong to trust him because in 1970, when he became president, Pinochet overthrew him with other leaders of the military branches. After a few years, Augusto Pinochet took over the entire government and became a dictator and ruled up until a coup happened and he was forced to retire. After he stepped down, Augusto Pinochet 
lived the rest of his life in Chile, and died in 2006 at the age of 91. The person I got was Isabel Alanda. Isabel Alanda was born on August 2, 1942, in Lima, Peru. Her parents were Thomas and Francisca Alanda, who then got divorced when Isabel was only three. Yeah, after the divorce, they traveled uh, to Santiago, Chile, and married her first husband. Uh, uh, then uh, her uncle was assassinated in 1973 as a part of a military takeover. Emily fled to Venezuela, where she wrote her first book, which would lead to 18 others. This is Isabel Lande. She's an author. This is also Isabel Alande. This is definitely not Isabel Lande. That's just creepy and a bit weird. She was born in Peru on August 2nd, 1942. In 1992, she created the Support of Young Woman Rights. She has 19 books, 35 languages, and over 57 million copies sold. She also has 50, 50 awards in over 15 countries. She created freaking Zara. Oh my god. Okay. Directed by me, and it's a very good, so... Pablo Neruda was born in July 1904 and died in 1973. Pablo's hometown was Parel, Chile. Then he moved to, after his mother's death. He grew up in the town of Tamaco, where he met Gabriela Mistral, who got him into writing. He changed his name to Pablo Neruda. His real name is Rafael Balancisto. He changed it in the name of a Czech poet. Juan Neruda. His writing was hugely affected by the death of his best friend during the Chile by the Chilean Civil War. In 1971, Pablo won a, a Nobel Prize for Literature. His first published works were discovered in 1923. He was awarded a Nobel Peace Prize for Literature in 1971. He was set to secretly marry Gabriela Mistral, a student he tutored. His second book, Vinte Pomas de Armor y Una Cacion Desprita, in 1924, inspired an unhappy love fit. It became an instant success and is still one of Narada's most popular books. Pablo Narada influenced Chileans through his poetry. Michelle Bachlet, first female president of Chile from 2006 to 2010. She speaks very good Spanish, English, German, Portuguese, and French. She was born on September 29, 1951 in Santiago, Chile. She's 60 years old and a divorced mother of three. Her political party is a socialist party. She one in a runoff with 53.5%. Michelle Bachlet, the first female president of Chile. Sebastian Panara by Bailey Victoria. Sebastian was born December 1st, 1941 in Santiago, Chile. In 1950, he moved to the United States and got a good education. In 1973, he married Cecilia Montez of Chile. They had four kids and now have four grandkids. In 1973, he came back to the United States and went to Harvard. He studied economics here. He then returned back to Chile in 1976 and became a professor of economics. In 1989, he ran for senator and won. He served on the legislative period between 1990 and 1998. He was chosen as the best senator of the time. He then decided to run for president. March 11, 2010, Sebastian became the 47th president of Chile. Nicole Polizzi was born on November 23, 1987. She now lives in New Jersey, where she films her TV show, Jersey Shore. On the show, she is known as Snooki. Snooki and her housemates go out and party a lot on the show. 
Since everyone on Jersey Shore is proud of their Italian heritage, you might be surprised to find out that Snooki is actually Chilean. She was born in Santiago, Chile. She was adopted at six months by her Italian-American parents and then was raised in an Italian household. She grew up in Marlboro, New York. She was given the nickname Snooki after a character from Save the Last Dance. She became part of the Jersey Shore cast in 2009 when it first started airing. She has been on that ever since and has been made more famous because of that. She is on our list of famous Chilean people and events because she was born in Chile. Hello, I'm Blair Henderson and this is my presentation on actress and singer Cote de Pablo. Her real name is Maria Jose de Pablo Fernandez and she changed it in elementary school because it was too hard for other kids to pronounce. She originally lived in Santiago, Chile, where her mom used to work in a Chilean TV studio. Cote de Pablo moved to America to work on Broadway and shows like The Mambo Kings, which has an incredibly creepy poster. Now, Cote de Pablo plays the character Ziva David on the hit TV show NCIS, which plays weekly on CBS. Jorge Garcia is an American actor of Chilean descent. Jorge was born in Omaha, Nebraska, but he grew up in Southern California. His father, Humberto Garcia, is a Chilean-born doctor, while his mother is a Cuban-born professor. He stands at six feet tall and weighs 270 pounds. Jorge has appeared in <clears throat> movies such as Deck the Halls, Old School, and Raven's Ridge. He starred in the hit series Lost, where he won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Jorge has also appeared in, on Comedy Central, where he did stand-up comedy. Jorge played Hurley in Lost, Wallace in Deck the Halls, Monty in Raven's Ridge, and played as himself in Old School. Jorge is now a main character in the new hit series Alcatraz. 